Hi friends, what's up? Today I'm going to show you all of the places that I go to to get access to free IT training. This is a video I wanted to make around Black Friday, um, but I haven't made any videos in about six or seven weeks and that's because I went back to Ireland and I got married, woo! Um, so I'm back now, but I wanted to make this video around Black Friday because I've seen all those emails come in from those training providers and offering 10, 20, 30% off their annual subscription. And this video is just to show you that you don't really need to pay that money and that you can get a lot of really, really good free courses online and they're just completely free. So I'm gonna show you the different places that I go to and hopefully they're useful to you. So the first platform I'm gonna show you is a platform called Skills by All and this is by the Cisco Network Academy. I've used them in the past. They've been really, really good and the training's been genuinely really good. If you go to skillsforall.com, you will see under Explore, let's check out the learning catalog. There's a few courses here I'd recommend doing. So if you're interested in networking, I would check out this Networking Basics. It's 22 hours and it also has 13 labs. It actually takes you through all of the basics, which is brilliant. If you've, you've done that one and then you want to kind of move on to different courses, under the cybersecurity area, you will see there's a really good course on network defense, which is 27 hours. But there's also a course here, an ethical hacker course, which is 70 hours and it's got 34 labs. This is a really good one. So if you're interested in getting into cyber into cybersecurity, then definitely check this one out. They have a lot of other courses. Uh, there's some Python courses, some JavaScript. Um, you just need to run through the different categories and, um, and check out what's available. They are beginner and intermediate level courses. So if you're looking for any advanced courses, then you probably won't find them on this website. The next one I want to show you is Microsoft Learn. Obviously in Microsoft Learn, you will find everything Microsoft related. The website does change around a little bit, um, but if you go to learn.microsoft.com and undertake training, you will see lots of different modules and learning paths. So just click on browse learning paths. And then let's just check the learning path bit at the bottom. I generally prefer to learn under the learning path because it, it bundles all of the modules that you need to follow for a particular course into one. So it's just easier to navigate around. From here, you can see there's loads of different learning paths available. Um, some of these are tailored towards different certifications as well. Uh, you can search the different content on the left, but you can also search in here at the top. So say I wanted to do the EZ104, which is the Azure Administrator certification. You can see that there is a learning path that breaks it all down. And even if you click into some of the learning paths, you will see there is some labs that you can run through. This is create some virtual networks, public IP addressing. So these are all really good. The next thing I wanted to show you is the Enterprise Skills Initiative. This is something that I found out in a previous company that I worked on. Um, they had an, a global enterprise agreement with Microsoft and Microsoft gave them access to this enterprise skills initiative and it's to get their staff trained. ESI will give you full access to free exams and you also have access to week-long courses taught by Microsoft instructors so check it out. It really depends if your company has access to it or not. Um, the easiest way to check is literally just to go to esi.microsoft.com and try and sign in. The next thing I want to talk about is Amazon Web Services. So if you go to AWS at Amazon.com and under learn, just click on getting started with AWS. From here, if you're completely new to Amazon and AWS Cloud in general, click into Cloud Basics and run through these different sections. If you have a little bit of experience and you want to start building some stuff and building some cloud platforms under learn, under hands-on tutorials, you can see that there's a bunch of different tutorials here that will help you deploy your first application. You can see here under compute, if you wanted to deploy a Linux VM, there is a set of instructions here. You can see it takes, it's a beginner, it takes 10 minutes and it's part of the free tier. If you're a developer, then there is another set of hands-on tutorials, especially for you guys. So click on learn and go back to learn with AWS. And at the very bottom here, you will see there is developer tutorials. So if you open that, these are all hands-on tutorials tailored for developers which is quite good. If you go back to the previous page, you will see at the bottom, there is a link in the corner for Skill Builder. Let's open that. 
This is Amazon's online training platform, so you can subscribe to this. Now, it does cost $29 per month, but this is quite good. This has only been available for the last couple of years. Um, but one of the benefits of doing this is that all of the courses are tailored to a specific certification. So say for example, you wanted to go for the SysOps Administrator Certification. This has all of the training you need in one place and it's an easy to follow learning path. Now some of them are free, you'll see here, and then some of them are actually paid. So it's really up to you. I would say, figure out what questions or like what content is gonna be on the actual exam. You can get the, the exam outline on the learning website and then you can run through all of the hands-on labs and then come back and subscribe to this if you really need to. The next cloud platform I wanna show you is obviously Google Cloud. They also have some training available. So go to cloud.google.com forward slash learn forward slash training and under start training, you can see a number of the different learning paths that are available to you. Say for example, I wanted to go for the security engineer learning path you will see all of the various modules that makes up that learning path. Now, some of them are free and some of them are paid. For example, one and two, I click on start course. You can see here there's eight hours and this one is free. But if I go back and I choose this the Google Cloud Core Fundamentals, you'll see this one costs 20 credits. Now, under subscriptions, you can either pay a monthly fee or you can purchase individual credits here. You do get a bit of a discount if you purchase over, I think it's over 30, 35. And if you go back to the main page again, there is another way you can learn. So it says more ways to learn. Click this tab at the bottom and there is the next platform that I want to talk about is this Coursera. I open up that one. This is for search Google Cloud. So this will show you the Google Cloud courses that are here. There's a number of different courses here. For example, Google Cloud Professional Workspace. You will see it is enrolled for free. You check this out because there is a lot of other platforms on there. Coursera is not just tailored to IT. It has a whole bunch of different stuff. So if you're looking to learn a language or anything else, then check out this website because it has loads of different courses. Udemy is another platform that I've used a lot in the past. The thing about Udemy is that I would say never buy a course full price because they have discounts and sales like it seems like every day. But under Udemy, if you search for, let's just go to IT certifications, you will see there's a lot of courses here and they are quite cheap, 12 pound, 10 pound. But if you go down to the bottom and you just change the price to free, you'll see there is 371 free courses. So you can run through these AWS Certified uh, Solutions uh, Architect Associate. There's some other ones here in CCNA. The only thing about these courses is that they don't display a date that the course was uploaded. So you need to be careful. I would usually check the reviews and see how far they go back. I'll give you an indication of how long the course has been there because you don't want to spend a whole pile of time just learning stuff that's two years out of date. The next two platforms that I want to show you are Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. Both of these platforms are tailored towards cybersecurity, so if that's where you want to be, then definitely check out these two places. TryHackMe is quite good where it has all of these different learning paths. For example, this red teaming, you will see that it has broken up this training into these various different sections. So you run down through all of the training and then you can use the stuff that you've learned to try and hack into various different rooms and different web servers, which is really good because not only are you learning, all of the content but you also get hands-on in on the same platform hack the box is quite good as well it's similar to try hack me again it has different training and different labs for you to compete against i would say if you're new to cybersecurity, i would say start off with try hack me it's a little bit easier than hack the box and um, but realistically you want to do both anyway but just start with try hack me and then you can move across to hack the box after so that's just a small list of places that you can go to to get training that's completely free. Um, if you know of any more, then drop them in the comment box below. I will add some in the description. There's a lot more different places you can go to, so I'll add them in the description, check them out. Um, thanks for watching. If you like the content, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.